I read an article a few months back from the New York Post that described screen time for kids as digital heroin. At first when I read this, I was shocked. But the more I started thinking about it, the more I realized how addicting technology can be for kids. I used to struggle with this a lot in my practice. I would give a child my iPad, and when the break was over, there would be a meltdown. Now, I have lots of strategies that I've developed to help parents deal with screen time management. But today, I wanna to tell you about the absolute best trick I've learned to deal with situations like this. It's called guided access. What it does is lock a child into a specific app with a password, and you can set a time limit. So let's say you have 10 minutes before dinner's ready, and you give your child the iPad. All you have to do is open the app and hit the home button three times to start guided access. Then set the timer to 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, the timer goes off and the iPad shuts down. To continue playing, you need to put in a password. There's three reasons why guided access is so useful. First, it helps a child stay focused on one activity at a time. Kids are constantly jumping from one activity to the next, so it's nice to start building the habit of completing one task at a time. I personally even have a hard time doing this. I'll be writing an email, and then my phone goes off, and I start writing a text message, and then I come back to my email, and as soon as I get into a flow, my phone buzzes again. Start teaching kids at a young age how to focus on one thing at a time, and you'll definitely see their intention skills improve. The second reason I love guided access is because it shifts the power struggle. When the iPad timer goes off and the iPad shuts down, I'm no longer the bad guy. It's the iPad. I didn't do anything. I come over and say, oh no, what happened? The iPad turned off? That's okay, it's time for dinner. So instead of the power struggle between me and the child, it's now between the child and the iPad, and the result is less resistance. The third reason I love this is because it creates a communication opportunity that gets kids talking. When the iPad shuts down, your child has to ask you for help. It's the perfect opportunity to have them say, I need help, or what's the password? Sometimes I'll even whisper the password so a child can't hear me. I can teach them how to say, I didn't hear you, or can you say it louder? Now I've taught them what to do if they didn't hear something the first time around. So let me quickly show you how to enable guided access on your device. Go to Settings, then go to General. Click Accessibility, then scroll all the way down to Guided Access and turn it on. Then click on Passcode Settings and set a password. I tend to change my passwords frequently because my kids are so great at figuring out what the password is. Now you can go to any app and hit the Home button three times to start Guided Access. Make sure you click on Options and go down to Time Limit to set the timer. Now simply hit start. You can see when I try to get out of the app, it won't let me. Then after a minute, you're prompted to put in a password to either resume or to end guided access altogether. And that's how simple it is. Now, I'd love to hear from you guys. Does your child get consumed over an iPad or iPhone? What do you do to create less resistance? Tell me in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel. That way you'll be the first to know when I release new videos. If you want even more great content on guiding your child to success, be sure to check out my website and sign up for my email updates to get exclusive access to more tips, tricks, and resources that I don't share anywhere else. Remember, a little progress each day adds up to big results. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.